I can remember the first time, you know, the vibrations through my ass cheeks. I can remember the smell of the fuel, you know, the, the, the engine, I could, the vibrations, the directness. You just absolutely love it. It's exhilarating. You don't want to come back into the pits. You want to stay out there. And you see the little curbs and you think you're Alain Prost and, you know, you're trying to be smooth and come around the curbs like you're heroes. When I was riding the motorbike on the farm, I would commentate to myself. I'm, I was the only guy in the race, obviously, but I was commentating to myself like I'm, I'm in the lead and, you know, I'm under, you know, there's a guy behind me, but I'm going to keep him out. And, you know, I would do the same loop over and over again. I'd set up a little track and, you know, I just knew this was my world and I'd, I just didn't want anyone to play with the track or play. There were some puddles on the driveway, which would, you know, I'd use those as little corners and stuff. and. Yeah, I'd be screaming in my helmet to myself. I used to go to bed thinking about how I could improve my lap times when I was, you know, 14. The stopwatch was such a, a big thing then and it still is now. It, the rules haven't changed. blankets come off the car and I look to Genty, number one mechanic, and Genty gives me the the wave out of the garage. That's his statement to me that he's ready, you know, he's 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 ready, the car's ready, this is your job now. That's what you do. And the next two hours is up to you. And that's an incredible feeling. It's a brilliant feeling. The dream is absolutely, completely alive at that point.